both super excited <laughs> that this is our last vlog, but also really sad, because I don't want this class to be over, because I have really enjoyed it. But I am really excited to not talk to my computer anymore and feel like a total dweeb doing it. But it's been fun anyway. <laughs> but to kick off this last little vlog, we're talking about A Visit from the Goon Squad by Jennifer Egan. And I know this wasn't everybody's cup of tea because uh, it does switch from character to character to story to story. But I loved it. I thought Diary by Chuck Palahniuk was going to be my favorite, but I think this one took over the top spot for me. I loved it. I think it's how all of the stories connect in some way. Like, they can all stand on their own and be separate little stories that don't have to go any further, even though you want them to, because I did want them all to go a little further. They didn't have to, so I think that they're all connected in some crazy way. Makes me really happy. And this took me longer than it should have. <laughs> but Sasha from the first story, and then Sasha from chapter 12, which is like the slides, um, like the PowerPoint slides, D that took me way too long to figure out, that's the same person? I was like, wait. Because I'm, sometimes I'm a little dumb. But that's not what I want to talk about in this vlog. I want to talk about chapter 3 and chapter 5. Um, because 3, 4, and 5, that little chunk of this book was my favorite part, um, and I think it's because of the characters, um, both Rhea and Jocelyn, Lou, and then Charlie and Rolf, they were my favorites out of this book, and I think it's because they, A, Jocelyn and Rhea, remind me of me, <laughs> um, and then... Lou, Rolf, and Charlene remind me of my family, um, in a twisted, extreme kind of way. Um, but as far as chapters three and five go, I really liked how you see the dynamic between Jocelyn and Rhea switch a little bit. Um, in chapter three, which is Ask Me If I Care, um... Rhea's kind of this person who's trying to be something she isn't, and she's trying to find where she fits in and how she fits in, and she's really insecure, um, and I identified with that a lot, because that's how I was in high school. I was very insecure, and I was trying to figure out who I was, which is, granted, what high school is for, but um, I went through a lot of phases, and I... <laughs> Rhea talks about her green hair. It's me. I had, like, pink hair. I recently had blue hair. Um, I had, like, orange hair, purple hair. Like, I've been every color of the rainbow. And, like, the whole pop punk thing. I've been there. So I identified with that a lot. And then in Chapter 5, which is, if I can get to it, someday... Maybe. Bear with me, kids. You, plural, is what it's called. Um, Rhea and Jocelyn go back to see Lou, who is actively dying. Um, and they've reversed roles a little bit. Because in Chapter 3, Jocelyn is the confident, you know, go-getter with Lou. And, you know, she knows, thinks she knows who she is anyway. And then we see her in Chapter 5, she's in her 40s, and she's finally going back to school to get her degree. Um, while Rhea has three kids and a family, and she works, and she's happy with her life. And Jocelyn just feels like she's stuck, like she wasted a lot of time in her life with Lou. Like, at one point, it, she even says, like, Lou's in his 
little homemade hospital bed. And she's like, this is what I wasted all that time on. This, this is what I, you know, screwed up my life for. And, um, for me, that's kind of, I can identify with that a lot, too, because I spent my first two years of college going for a degree that was interesting, yes, but not what I wanted to do at all. I was doing it for all the wrong reasons and for all the wrong people. Um, so I think that's why I liked it so much. Um, and then, of course, Chapter 4 I related to with my family, specifically one of my brothers. But I talked about that in the VBC. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what I got for you this last little week. Um, so I'll, I'll see most of you on Friday. And I'm excited to see you on Friday. For those of you I won't see on Friday, have a fabulous, fabulous rest of your summer. And good luck in everything that you're going to be doing. And hopefully, like Billy said, we'll stay in touch. I hope. But have a great summer, guys. Bye!